Hello everybody, welcome to No Pants Gaming. My Again. name is Corva, and I am with my friend Brandon here. Hi! <laughs> We're, uh, we are We've playing... done this intro five times! <laughs> yeah, so, because I am I am like a professional at this. I, oh, shut I, up, I, I, I fucked I, up too. I've messed up certain things, and so has he, so, you know, whatever, it's fine. We're playing Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. One of the greatest games of all time. I said that phrase... A couple times. <laughs> yes, but I, I again I, have enlightened the crowd that I had never played this game because my mother didn't let me have a Nintendo. Yeah, he's uh, Brad got the Sega. Brad is my brother. He got the Sega. I wasn't allowed to get the Nintendo. I got like Jet Moto on the PlayStation One, and Jet uh, Moto, Jet Moto, which is a lot of fucking fun. Wow, uh, it's basically like Gran Turismo, but motorbikes, oh. like uh, like hover bikes. It's fucking dope. It's awesome. There's a level where you go from heaven to hell. It's awesome. Sega's weird. That was PlayStation, not Sega. Oh. Well, PlayStation's also weird. This is what Nintendo, Nintendo gives you this. Yeah. Nintendo gives you a bear playing banjo. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nah. much. 1998. Yeah. What happened in 1998? Uh, corn. Oh, corn? Corn was around. Oh, That's the band. <laughs> it's like corn. What? Yeah. We discovered corn in 1998? Yes. We just, yeah, the vegetable? The, the U.S. This year they discovered corn in 1998. Despite what you uh, may have heard. Fuck what you heard. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... What were we talking... We were talking about something. Oh, I don't know. My mind goes... All which ways. Like, I... Like, when I look back... Gingivitis, ha! Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, joke. No, we were saying Ebola. She has. Instead of... Oh, Ebola. She has Ebola. <laughs> get out! She has Ebola! Dude, I don't even... Like, I don't even <laughs> like, get old videos. Like, that, like not even that long ago. I was like, what the fuck am I even talking about? Yeah. When I was playing Super Meat Boy, I was talking about Bruce Jenner's penis for, like, a minute. I was like, Got to, man. I don't know why. That, that just what was in my mind. The quality content is watching a Let's Play while hearing some outstanding audio. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the Let's Players I watch. It's, like, guys who, like, have awesome conversations with them. That is very like, true. While like, playing a cool uh, game. Like, I was telling you with, with Game Grounds, right? They were playing Majora's Mask and... They don't, he doesn't, Aaron doesn't know exactly that game and that, that well. Uh, so, oh, sure so, so it's taking a while to get around and stuff. And yeah. like, and he also, he also does things for satire. He, he shits on the game like Dunky does, but like for like comedic yeah. reasons. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. fun, it's fun to shit on it. Yeah. And people are giving him shit for it. It's like, oh, you're not going this way and this way. It's like, or you're like, you're bad at this game. It's like, yo. I don't come to the game rooms <laughs> to watch quality gameplay. Yeah, I, I, I come I, for the for the laughs. Yeah, it's for the personality because it's it's yeah. gold. That's why I watch like Fitz and Swagger Souls. Like it's it's fun to watch semi pro people play. Yeah, Counter Strike, but I'm not there to watch them play Counter Strike necessarily. Yeah. I'm there to watch them interact in group chat and like exactly. yeah, like all the fun stuff. No, it's like that's the like you're missing the point of yeah. that channel, man. Well, there's plenty of people that do games that are really well. It's fun to watch people that can do yeah. speed runs and stuff. Well, Markiplier is a fun less player to watch. I used to like watching PewDiePie. And PewDiePie's accent just pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. Is what it was like. Like yeah. I had no problems with PewDiePie as a person. Even after all that controversy with oh, with the, the, so the famous word. You know what I mean? He got hit so hard. He didn't. I, I don't think he truly deserved. That no. level of uh, blackballing in the no, YouTube community. No, he got so blacklisted yeah. by like, oh man, it was it was it's terrible. Ridiculous. He was fucking stupid. He's just a dude doing what we're doing. <laughs> That's it. Just trying to make people laugh, man. Get <laughs> off. Uh, I mean, be prepared to hear her her voice the whole time. <laughs> she, she nags you the whole game. Who the witch does? Mm -hmm. Especially, like, when you get hit and stuff or something like that, or you die, like, she just, she just pushes your buttons. Like, it's like, ah, you would have done that if you weren't, weren't doing this, you stupid bear. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. Well, it's kinda, it's kinda abusive like, witch. Well, she's a witch. She's an evil witch. I guess. She's literally abducting a child to put in her <coughs> transforming chamber to make her hot. Yeah. Yeah. While that we're like, she can't just make them both hot? Or, I guess 2D isn't really hot. Tootie's like 11, isn't she? Yeah, it's like, the, she's like a kid. And we're just like, yo, she's a kid. I'm like, <coughs> I, I don't know why you're taking a kid. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, he's just lying in bed. Oh, 
is, is great. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is get this game. It's 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 oh, what a bubbles. Point. Bubbles. Bubbles bottles. <laughs> You know, they actually never really, like, met before, I guess. No. It's kind of weird, like, he just lives here. I guess he knows Tui, or Tootie, whatever her name is. I don't know. Oh, she got him, Gaggle Boy! <laughs> oh! Yeah, they, uh, Bottles and Gazooey will, uh, are gonna throw shade at each other. Nice. The whole game as well. Gazooey will throw shade at everybody. Jesus, Jesus, a bitch. <laughs> Like, there were times, like, like Banjo would be like, yo, Kazooie, like, this is a family game, calm down. Like, <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> can't say that on TV. Yeah, the 90s. Is what, well, yeah, it's still 90s, 98. Yeah. A time where you can say a lot of things and get away with it. Oh, dude, yeah, that's okay. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> I didn't actually have the tutorial. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I can do it. Hmm. This is what this is what you, uh, so when you go through here... Yeah, you skipped the tutorial, right? I don't or did you do it? No, <laughs> this is gonna make me look up. Okay. <laughs> so I forgot to, I didn't press the right button. Piece of shit. <laughs> but basically, he just tells you all, all yeah. your moves and, all moves and whatnot. And you he can, helps you get a honeycomb, uh, right? Yeah, you guys give you, you get a life bar at the at the end of all this. Called that man feathers. <laughs> <laughs> what up, feathers? We got goggles and feathers out here, yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Trying to roast my boy, son. <laughs> the whole time, just fishing at him. <laughs> the flat flip jump. Flat flip jump. Oh. I don't know how that works physics based, but sure. Swelly dog. Yeah. You use like all these moves that are geez, he's teaching you use throughout the whole game. That's the nice thing about the moves in, uh, in this game. You use them like the whole time. Throughout the whole entire game. Yeah. A little honeycomb piece. <laughs> yeah. Everything talks to you, huh? Every Everything talks to you the first time you touch it. Right? Solid. And it's, it's always in this broken, uh, uh, broken words. Sounds difficult and I'll get my fur wet. I want to swim. Spill the beans. Speckles. Speckles. Oh, that's what I'm calling my girlfriend from now on. I always come up with a stupid name of the week for her. Oh, it was Scribbles for like two days. There, there's there's tons of it in this game. You can learn. Speckles. Oh, he was teaching to go in the water. Eat. Teach me to go underwater? Or Get my fur wet. <laughs> I mean, you don't want wet fur. You really don't want wet fur. Okay. Yeah. There's a water level in this game, isn't there? Nintendo and their fucking water levels, no? I swear to god. There, no, but there are parts where you do go underwater for uh, periods of time. The second game has a big uh, underwater... Uh, uh, level, that, but it's it's good. No, I know that's I know that's weird coming from a game. It was like, yeah, underwater levels can kind of honestly just kind of suck it. They're me, not always that great. Me and my buddy Jimmy, shout out to J Dog. Um, we exclusively avoid games that have a water level, or we play them until we get to the water level, and then we input a cheat code that we can skip the water level <laughs> because we're trash at water levels. <laughs> they're not always that. They're not always that great. But what'd you get? That is uh, an extra life. Lit. It looks like a banjo. <laughs> now, I mean, underwater levels aren't that, aren't, aren't uh, always great. I mean, a lot of people give uh, the water temple from Ocarina of Time a lot of shit. Yeah. From that one, it's like it's it's really not that bad, honestly. It's 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 really not that bad. Like it's. Oh, like, I like it. E even as a kid, like I I figured out where to go. The only thing that trips me up in the water temple is this one key that I always forget about. Huh. I don't know why. I somehow, even as an adult, I was like, how the fuck do I get open the door again? Like, oh, it's this fucking key in this room that <laughs> I always forget about. Is it uh, just hidden? No, it's just, it's just, 
Oh, like, it's just the one room you didn't check, is all, that you could go into. You just forget about it, because it's just kind of a little bit out of the way. You're not really paying attention to it, I guess. I don't know. I just, for me, it just trips me up. Over time, it's not that bad at all. I guess it gets me hyped. I mean, people think people hate the Water Temple and Ocarina. It's like, yeah, talk to me about the Great Barrier Reef. Or the Great Reefs or whatever it's called in Majora's Mask. That level is more annoying. Far more annoying. The reefs? Yeah, it's a cool, a cool mechanics what you do in that level, but it's like, yeah, it's like water based levels aren't always the greatest. Like, no, not really. It's the same thing as Sonic, right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, go, gotta go fast, right? And then you hit water. And gotta go like, fast. Yeah, there's an underwater, there's an underwater temple level in Sonic. Sonic <laughs> Two, it's the third level. I remember. Yep. It gave me a, it, it was Hydro a bad City. time. Yeah, that's Hydro the, City. That's yep. The, that's the big one. It, it's it's a great level, but it's like it it definitely just like that. Hydro City was Sonic Three, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Sonic Three. I was like, that's that's kind of a difficult level too. Yeah. Like I I died there a lot. <laughs> Even the water part in Chemical Plant, the second oh, yeah. level in Sonic 2. That oh yeah, like th there's a reason that elevator room with the small shafts is yep. like, appears almost every time because it's so iconic of, yeah. of, of like how it's how it's done. I mean it's not a hard to get past, but it's definitely stressful. Like uh, you're just five year old me would beg to differ. Yeah, five year old me was not having a good time. Oh no, with, I, uh, neither, neither, neither neither was me. <laughs> no. But it's great though. It's it's so it so works for you know. Yeah, my brother actually had to help me play that shit. Uh, he had to help me beat Eggman every single time, and I couldn't beat the last level. Game. Last level yeah. was too hard. When you're on the fucking plane. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's great. What do you want me to do? I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Bottles? Just talk to him, bro. Tell me. Oh, he nope. just want me to, oh, he just want me to kill it again. Kill the carrot. Oh. Here's some forward roll. Okay. Somersault? Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of skipped all of this, but I wasn't paying attention. So I'm just gonna roll into this onion and murder it. Yeah. Don't ask me how these vegetables are so large with eyes and come out all on the same ground. That is not how vegetables work. Ah, uh, the lore is uh, there was a nuclear spill in the hills of the... Spire Mountain. There you go. Here you are. Now you're fucked. And now, so now we have giant cabbages. Definitely cauliflower, bro. Cabbage ain't white. Come on, you a cook. Oh yeah, that's true. Come on, you a cook. That is cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> so like a nuclear nuclear spill. Nuclear came, spill. Came in Spire Mountain, and now you have giant vegetables. Yep. Now you have a bird that can talk, a bear that can talk, a mole that can talk. That's wearing that's wearing shorts. And that's wearing back. shorts. He became self-aware. He self-actualized. <laughs> uh. And the witch is actually just like a scientist who went insane because he was too close to the. Toxic sludge. Yeah, that's how, that's how she got her chin. Yeah. All right, so was, you fi you're fighting homegirl now, right? No, we're just going. We're gonna go into her castle. This is actually Spire Mountain. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Spire Mountain is actually a lot bigger than this too. And uh, too, you actually get to uh, see a bigger area. That's, that's why that's I mean, Kazoo, that's why I say Banjo and Kazooie are my favorite game because like they're they go they just go together. Uh. And Chewie is like it's just a proper sequel. Uh. It's like when, when you think that. of a sequel, like that's a, this is a good sequel. I mean, it has its gripes too, that are kind of annoying sometimes. Like you may have to wait and other shit, but yeah, can't be perfect. You know, a game was not worth my sixty dollars. They bought a lot of games, probably. Monster Hunter World. Really? Oh, yeah, you didn't like it. Yeah. Not my thing. Not too much into it. Not my thing, no. Well, yeah. I mean, it could be a game. I like leveling up, and you don't have that in, in Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah. Monster Hunter is all about using what you have to build better things mm. to fight better monsters. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't, like, I don't know much about Monster Hunter, really, besides... I, it's I'm just a different kind of grind. I just, haven't, I just haven't played them all. I just know the people that I know 
or seen talking about it. They, they really like it. They seem to really enjoy uh, enjoy the game. I'm, I'm, I want to get up, just not. Uh, well, it's not on it's, it's not on PC yet anyway, so like I, I'm not too worried about it. I'll get it when it comes. There's some other stuff I, I want to get in time. Oh, puzzle piece, guys. So yeah, first Jiggy. Just sitting up here. It's Mr. Jiggy. <laughs> he is the only deserved Jiggy. He's the only one that they. He's, he's the only sentient Jiggy piece. I guess. I have no idea. Alright, so now what are you doing? This will be the first level that we're gonna go into. But we have to put that Jiggy in the puzzle. And you literally just press the button. Put it in. Nice. And that, that's, that's all you need to do. <laughs> Goggle boy. <laughs> Straight up roasting my man. <laughs> oh, 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 this, this whole time. <coughs> now, so is that puzzle piece going forever then? Yeah. Yeah, so you have like so you have like uh they give you you know there's there's enough jiggies or whatever to get through all the levels, but you don't have to have find them all. But what's the fun of that? There's no fun of that, you gotta find them all. Plus if you get everything, all like all the collectibles and whatnot, there's basically two big collectibles that's the jiggies and uh, musical notes. If you get <coughs> if you get everything, you get more powers and stuff to fight Gruntilda later on. Gotcha. That. So it's, it is worth it. So the very first level. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Come here. Can't move the range on that. This is the range. Mm, I'm a sick <laughs> This is always fun. These are musical notes. These help you uh, get to each, like, get through Gruntilda's lair. As well as the, the Jiggies help you open the worlds, and the uh, musical notes help you progress through the lair itself. Okay. And that little guy is a Jinjo. Cut five on each world and get him a Jiggy. I don't know why they're just hanging out here. Um, they're kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, this game's like, you, you kind of just kind of take it as it goes, like, whatever. Uh, okay. Dude, I ain't hating. Sure. In the second game, like, they, they make things a lot more prominent. Like, like, like the gym shows are like a, like a big race of people, like, that are in the world itself. And have, like, their own, like, village and shit. I just want to, like, pick the brain of the development team. Of Rare? Oh, man. Of I, Rare. I, I would love love to do that like they made incredible titles like perfect dark mm -hmm. and then they made like conquer's bad fur day yeah and this mm -hmm. and it's like you went just as far down the rabbit hole of kid friendly as you possibly yeah. could for this well see like they were so they made banjo kazooie right and uh and then they had they made like a friendly conquer like uh, like a kid's gang kids conquer whatever and they, they thought really? that was that's a termite uh, and then there was like, ah, this doesn't seem, this seems a little too, like, man, we don't, like, too we forced. Could... Yeah, because they already did Banjo. They just, like, what if we just went completely adult with it? Yeah. And just shit happened. And there you go, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Which I've actually never played all the way through. So. That was Nintendo 64, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. One of the only M rated game titles. That's also why I didn't play that game as a kid. <laughs> Because I had an M-Ready game type. And literally had Conquer holding a beer next yeah. to like a big titted like uh squirrel lady on oh, me... Yeah, probably not for kids. Let me look up what the fucking cover is. So, Cause I uh, remember they, they made another one for the PlayStation 2 that I really wanted to play, but of course mom was yeah, like, it wasn't oh, that... go fuck yourself. Yeah, they, it wasn't. They took they took the uh, the adult out of it, unfortunately. So it wasn't really uh wasn't really that good. Because what's, what's Conqueror's Bad Fur Day without the alcoholism and shit? Like, that's the, yeah. whole, that's the point. So, this is the, uh... This is probably, like, the most helpful move in the game. The town truck. You see who comes out. And you can walk around with her. And go, <laughs> up, and go up steep slopes. Like this. Nice. And Banjo just chills there. 
Yeah, that's a that's a bird supporting a grizzly bear. Yeah, I I, I know Kazooie's. You know that, right? Kazooie's uh, like the best power in, in the world. Like, Kazooie's <laughs> infinitely strong. It's it's crazy. In like the second game, like there's a move where Banjo literally takes Kazooie out of his backpack and slams her on the ground. <laughs> Just beats the shit out of her. Yeah. The whole time. It's crazy. <laughs> you are a tool. Yeah. What much. are those? These are eggs. We are eggs. Use us as ammo. ammo. All right, so I think we will stop it here and then, okay. uh, then go into the next episode. Cool. Next time. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys I know. learned something. It's all about learning, GI Joe. Take did, it did, easy. Did, did.